Okay, so what do we got here, Ryan? <laughs> we have uh, our kiln. The temperature is set to 1200, but it hasn't made it up there yet. It's only at 1052. I'm not even sure it'll make it to 1200 because it's been there a long time at 1052. But it has a viewport, and inside is a piece of alumina, the same casting material that I used to make the dog bones. It's in the shape of a crucible, about half a liter in volume. And uh, it's in this door. You can see mm -hmm. a nice glow in there. So, my hypothesis is that we are getting really low emissivity readings compared to the published ones. On the Williamson, we needed really high emissivity values on the um, Optress to match what was what we were seeing. But I'm thinking this is reading low emissivity because it's taking, uh, it's receiving some infrared energy from within the material, and the outer shell is cooler, where the air, where it's air cooled. Well, in this environment, the whole thing is hot. There's there's uh, no temperature gradient on it, so we should be able to see. When I put that here. 1060, yeah, 1072, and, what is and an the... emissivity of 1.08, which means we're getting a lot of infrared energy. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Some of it's got to be coming from the uh, heating elements in there bouncing off or something. And the more I bring it in there, the higher it actually gets. So the signal strength on the Williamson goes from 0 to 2. The signal strength is just the total amount of infrared energy being collected by it. We're looking in this port at the moment. So that makes a huge difference. So the, the, the K-type thermocouple, which is presenting the temperature here, it's saying 1047. And over here, the Williamson is reading... Uh, 1052. 1052, so and ballpark, ballpark in the same range. So, uh, now, next what I want to do is open up the kiln door and let the surface of it cool and watch as it cools and see if the emissivity drops a lot. He's, he's going to open the door, point the probe, the Williamson probe at it, and we're going to watch what happens as it cools. So I'm going to pull out so we can see the Williamson in shot. Yes, okay, go for it. Ooh, oh, that's, that's very glowy in there. That's a lot of hot. Yeah. Really want to get wow. So you can see it in there. Oh, wow. Too hot. The emissivity, you can see the temperature dropping, but we're getting a lot of glow from a lot of stuff into that. We are at about 0.9 emissivity. Woo! If we open that wider, we can cook ourselves, but we'll put this in here briefly. About six inches out, and we're about 0.3 on the actual material. We'll have to compare that to the literature. I think so, it's about 0.45 is what the Lugano report said. So we've brought the kiln temperature down to 920. It's going back up again. 990. Wow, oh, well, it's really quite painful. <laughs> 984 and about 0.3. So as soon as it gets cooler, I mean, we are getting radiated here. We're going to turn this off and just let it slowly cool and check it in a little bit. At least that will turn off the heating elements and they'll become the same as the ambient. Oh wow, you see a glow under it now. That's hollow like a cup and it's upside down and there's a glow coming from under it because that's still hotter. It's not cooling as fast as the rest of it. Nine. So, with that pointing at that, you're now seeing... Point nine, point three, point four maybe. Yeah. And that's really about... It's not too far off of what... It's not disagreeing, is it? Was. Ooh, there's little sparkles in there. Yeah. Flash. I wonder if that's dust convecting in there and dying a painful death. Two 
too low. How does it have an emissivity when it's too low to read the temperature? Oh, well. Do you want to close it and just let it even out, and then we'll have a look through the port again? Yeah. We'll turn the temperature down. Turn it back on. Turn the temperature down so we can monitor the temperature here. So uh, we let it cool down a little bit, and it's got the pyrometer in there, and it's reading, uh, uh, was reading, just pulled it out again. So the signal strength? 1.05. Yeah. So yeah, we're collecting a lot more infrared when the door is closed. Okay, we're going to try it real quick at this temperature now that it's warmed up a little bit again settled at 83 or so and we're going to measure the surface real quick hopefully be able to tolerate it for a little bit six inches out and it's already dropped below my temperature my gloves are already smoking ah. <laughs> okay well we are going to turn this off